Hey everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. And I have three projects to share with you today using contents from Simon Says Stamps Holy 2022 card kit. Now this is a very special kit in that it is available right now for pre-order and it will ship in October. You can find more details about how the kit ships on Simon Says Stamps website, which I have a link to the kit down below in the video description or on my blog if you're watching it there. Either way, you can find out all the details about the kit over on that link. Now I'm gonna be using contents from the kit and I'm gonna make three different cards. And the fun part is that these are really pretty simple to put together. And I love the way that these all have a completely different feel, but they all use the same contents. Isn't that neat? So we're gonna start first by making this card that I actually created using some of the pattern paper. So this is one of the sheets of pattern paper that's included in the kit, it's so pretty. And I'm going to make this into a five by seven card. So I need a little extra inch on the bottom of my paper because the paper is only six inches tall. So I'm gonna add this little strip of pattern paper underneath just to get me that full seven inch height. I'm going to attach these pattern paper pieces onto a card base that is five by seven. This is made from Simon Says Stamp white cardstock, and I'm just gonna glue those pieces straight down onto the card. To add a little bit of trim, I did pull out some of the gold tape that's included in the kit. This is a self-adhesive, almost basically ribbon, and I'm just gonna remove the release backing on the back side of that and then stick it right down in between those two papers. This adds such a beautiful touch of gold and it's gonna go well with that star that you just saw at the top of my card. I haven't glued that down yet. We'll get to that in just a moment. So because I wanna include that star die, which happens to be from Simon Says Stamps kit as well, this is the twinkling star die. I'm going to use that in the main center area of my card in between the two wise men. And then I'm also going to add little stars from the sequin mix that's in the kit and using a gold pen that's included in the kit as well, I added gold dots to be further stars in the distance. By the way, all the contents in the kit are available for individual purchase outside of the kit. So let's say you like the star die, the twinkle star die, you can buy that on its own outside of the kit. So if you like some of the pieces I'm using here today, definitely check out the links below in the video description for those details. I've die cut that twinkle star twice more from some soft navy cardstock from Simon's Stamp. And I'm gonna put micro dots on the back side of two of those pieces, the gold one and one of the blue ones. That's going to allow me to stack these pieces together so that I can get a little bit more dimension on this star so that way it's slightly raised above the level of the pattern paper. The micro dot sheets are such an easy way to glue all these pieces together. I love using these for stacking die cuts and they hold really, really well too. So once I've stacked all my pieces, I'm just gonna glue this straight down on top of my card using a little bit of liquid glue and I'll just fiddle that into place, get it where I want it and then press it down. All right, we need a sentiment. So I'm pulling out the first night stamp set that's included in the kit. We'll use that as well later on in the video, but I'm going to use just the sentiments right now. And I'm stamping one of them onto some black cardstock with embossing ink. Then my plan is to take some gold embossing powder and sprinkle that on top. This is going to set beautifully on top of this black cardstock and give me a gorgeous shine that's going to go perfect with the stars and the gold tape that we've included on this card. I'm gonna fussy cut the sentiment out. You don't have to fussy cut it like a shadow as I'm doing here. You could just take a trimmer and cut this into a basic rectangle if you'd like as well. Either way, you just wanna cut this down so it's a little smaller than the paper you're stamping on. And then just put that onto the center portion of that beautiful gold tape. Right underneath the Wiseman, it is a perfect combination. I just love how this turned out. That paper has a little bit of a sheen on the Wiseman, which makes them stand out a lot more and it gives this card a very special feel. All right, let's move on to card number two. So the pattern paper is really pretty. I have been using it so much in all my cards. I wanted to use this particular star piece to create a shaker card. So I took the plastic that the first night stamp set came in and I'm cutting it down. I'm going to end up getting two shakers out of this. I'll save the other piece for later. And I just love being able to make these edge to edge shaker cards they provide very little bulk. So because I wanna mail this card for Christmas, this is going to be super easy to mail because it's not a heavy, bulky shaker card. 
I'm putting red line tape all the way around all four sides of this pattern paper. I want to make sure that I have that tape right along the edge so that way the plastic can fold up onto that adhesive. So we're gonna lay this paper face down on top of that plastic that's on my desk. I'm removing the release paper from three sides only of that pattern paper and we're gonna fold each of those plastic edges around the card panel and into the adhesive. So we're gonna form a pocket. By the time we fold all three sides around, we're gonna have a pocket that's open at the top so that we can slip some sequins inside. If you ever have a little bit of plastic from the corner hanging around the side of your card, just trim that corner down. It's just a little bit of extra plastic that's not necessary. So here's my pocket, which is ready to be filled. I'm using some of the sequins from the card kit. This is the Autumn Sky Mix and it's so beautiful. It's got lots of pretty stars, some really pretty colors. It's a magical mix. So I'm going to fill that, remove the final release paper off of the last edge and fold that plastic onto the adhesive. So now we've closed those sequins inside and this is a full shaker card. There is an angel die in the kit that I wanted to make sure I used with this card. And I'm gonna cut it from some Simon's to Stamp White glitter card stock. Now this isn't part of the kit, but I definitely would encourage you to get it when you buy the kit because it works really well with the kit contents and just for Christmas cards in general. So I die cut the angel and I'm also bringing in the holy star stencil from the kit. I'm going to apply the stars on top of my shaker card. So right on top of that plastic, we're gonna apply some paste. You can do this on shaker cards. You can use any kind of paste you want. For this one, I'm using some stickles. This is going to actually dry transparent, so you'll still be able to see through the stars. It adds just a little bit of sparkle, and that star element really ties everything together well, the pattern paper and the sequins. So I just applied that paste very carefully on top of my shaker card, and I'll remove stencil from the paper so that you can see we have that really pretty design now left on our shaker card. So this has to dry, it'll take it a little bit to do so, but once it does, look how pretty with those sequins inside, it's just magnificent. I glued the angel on top of my shaker card. I just used a little bit of liquid glue. I didn't stack her with any other die cuts. I just used the straight up glitter cardstock die cut. And now I'm gonna move on to adding my sentiment. Again, I pulled out that first night stamp set. I used one of the greetings from it and then I embossed it with white embossing powder from Simon. This is going to look really cool, that doll pink cardstock on top of the teal. There's some pink in the sequins, which made me pick this color combination to go with the teal. I think it's a little bit more non-traditional, but it's so fun and really neat. I just think this is a really nice and bright, cheery Christmas card. So that completes the second card that I made with the kit contents. This one was a fun one, a little bit more, like I said, on the non-traditional side, but really, really fun. All right, card number three. I promised I was gonna be using the stamp set. I'm actually very excited about this stamp set. This is called First Night. I designed this stamp set for the kit along with the Twinkle Stars die. So I hope you like it. I wanted to make a stamp that you could build your Bethlehem night scene. And you can do it in a variety of different ways. So this is the Bethlehem skyline. And then there's two sand borders that nest underneath the skyline. So I stamped with morning and I'm gonna stamp it a second time to make sure I get a super crisp impression because my ink pad is starting to get dry. I need to refill it. So after I stamped the morning color, I left the stamp in its exact same position. The paper's in its same position still. We're gonna stamp now the bottom portion of that Bethlehem skyline with the galaxy ink and then soften it by blending out the line with a blending tool. So I'll stamp that down and I get that really cool now shaded look. So we have our beautiful skyline shaded with the ink. Now I'm gonna take one of the two sand borders and nest it up against the skyline. So I'm going to ink this up with two shades of Simon Says Stamp brown inks from the Positively Saturated Collection. I started first with Fawn and I'm gonna ink that up. This is going to give me a really nice warm sandy color but it's also gonna be a little bit on the darker side which is what I want because of course this is a night scene. And then I'm gonna bring in Woodsy, and I inked that up only along the bottom portion. Again, brought in a blending tool, and I feathered that out so it would be a little bit softer. Now I'm gonna actually stamp 
with fawn one more time to help blend these two colors because these were very contrasting. I used the lightest and the darkest shades from that particular trio of colors when I probably should have used the lightest and then the, the middle color, but that's okay. I went ahead and stamped fawn again and then once that dried, it smoothed out super well and now it looks really good. So I'm gonna bring in that third sand border and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down along underneath the other sand border. And I repeated the stamping process of doing the light and the darkest colors. So after all the stamping was completed, we have our really cool Bethlehem skyline. I trimmed it down so it was a little bit smaller. This is basically a slimline card that's a little bit on the not so long side. It's, I'm calling it a cropped slimline card because it's not quite as long as a usual slimline card, but it is the same height as a slimline card. So I ink blended just some sky with morning and galaxy, the same two colors that I used for the Bethlehem skyline. And now I'm bringing in a detail blending brush and some yellow ink from Simon and just coloring in some of those windows. That's going to give me a really nice glow, very, very pretty. And it sets us up for adding all of the silhouettes of the images that are going to go in front of the skyline. So I'm bringing in the manger scene. This is a manger and then there is also a silhouette of Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus that you can stamp inside of the manger. So I'm gonna stamp those next. I'm stamping everything with intense black ink from Simon's to stamp and I'm stamping it a couple of times because we're stamping on top of a lot of ink that's already there. You wanna make sure you stamp it a couple of times to get a really nice intense impression. So I've done that for the manger. Now I'm bringing in the wise men. Now there's actually only one wise man stamp, but I stamped him three times so that I could have three wise men. I'm going to put the holy star stencil on top of my scene here and very carefully start blending in some of that galaxy color to create some stars in the night sky. I am going to make sure I shift this down so that way I can keep the stars going from one side of the card to the other. This looks really cool. I loved how this layered up like this. So after I ink blended all the stars through the stencil along only the top portion of the card, I'm really feathering it out as I go down towards the bottom. I'm going to remove that stencil and then start adding a few extra details. One of which was some white pen dots to be some small stars in the distance. And then I reapplied the stencil again and picked one star out of all of them to be the star that the wise men followed to find Jesus. So after I applied that silver paste through the stencil, we now have this beautiful silver star right above the manger. Our card is almost done, but I did decide to add a few more embellishments. One of which were these fairy jewels. These are just some clear gems from Memory Box. I just stuck those down here and there around the scene. And then in addition to the gems, I also brought in a sentiment from the stamp set that I stamped onto black cardstock with white embossing powder and embossing ink. I love how this card turned out. It's very bold. It has such a beautiful color combination with the purples and the yellows. It's a very unique look. And again, all totally different from the cards that I created earlier. So there you have it. Three cards that I made with the Holy Kit from Simon's Stamp. Available right now for pre-order and available only while supplies last. So if you love it, make sure you pre-order yours now. If you pre-order it now, it will ship then automatically in October. If you're interested in any of the supplies I use today, definitely check out the links below in the video. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were inspired by what you saw today. I look forward to seeing you again with more inspiration, but until then, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.